Hi bros, you asked me a couple times how to power up some extra blinkers, light or other electric things which needs around 12 volts and of course step down converter is the answer for your question. Here I got two, the best which I found on the market on the left side, we've got this huge step down converter which can handle on the input even 72 volts and of course on the output we can expect 12 volts and even 5 amps which could be quite possible because this thing is quite big and could easily split out the heat and also what to mention is that it's glued so this one seems to be waterproof while this tiny thing can handle even 90 volts on the input and of course on the output we can expect 12 volts manufacturer is saying that this thing can handle even 3 amps i think in real world we can expect something around 1 amps because this Radiator is not very big, but yeah, as you can see, this small step down converter is really small compared to this one, so it will be much easier to fit somewhere in your e bike or e scooter. Size 58, 40, 22, 30, 42 and a half, 15. Of course, you need only one step down converter to pour up 4 blinkers and extra light inside your scoot. I mentioned about this because I noticed that some crazy guys are using one step down per one blinker. Of course it will still work but this is waste of the cash and space inside your scoot. So this tiny thing will handle 4 blinkers and some extra small light. But I know, no proof, no glory. Let's solder some extra wires to the small one because it don't have any. To be honest, this is the best solder ion I have ever used. It's portable with built-in battery and you can super easily just solder any wires. It's kind of powerful and the working time could be even one hour. So for me, this is really one of the best solder ions I have tested so far actually use it. I'm not worried about any extra wires, cables to pull up this thing. Build in battery, when you finish, just click it and it's done. It got this nice start. Here is USB power input, so shit, literally one of the best. On the input we've got 20 volts and on the output we've got 12 volts. So far so good, let's increase the voltage. Yep, it keeps output voltage. Let's try 42 volts. So this is the voltage of Xiaomi M365. And we've got 12.35, so it's constant. Maybe this thing is cheap and small, but so far it's working quite nice. Let's check maximum voltage of my power supply. 61 volts and it keeps output voltage around 12 volts. So we can easily connect this tiny thing to Lao T ES18 or Yonobike T85. And on the output we'll have 12 volts, but check how it works under load. As a power meter I will use my quite advanced USB meter. Over here we'll see the voltage and use the power. So let's turn it on. Yep, and this thing got even gyroscope. Check this one out, pretty crazy. As a load I will use LEDs. This ones are 30 watts, but actually in your world they are around 18 watts. So let's check the load so let's connect i have no idea which wire is which so let's start with this one and let's connect this one to no it doesn't work so this one will be ground and this one will be plus yeah oh we are using now 12 volts so it's around 1.1 amps and the voltage dropped to around 11 point half volts so this is still not bad score now let's wait a little bit and let's check if this thing will heat up after five minutes step down is 31 degrees i am actually pretty impressed because i thought that this step down will be like crazy hot but it's just warm and we are losing like 1.1 amps so i can recommend this one for sure it can easily power up four blinkers with some small extra four lights this thing is just a little bit warm but if you will close it inside the deck without any air flow and if you will use some kind of heat shrink tube to prevent any kind of short circuit because those pins are not covered then the temperature can rise rapidly so i do not recommend exit one and a half amps now let's this big step down converter 
23 volts and now let's connect the light and on the output we've got 12 volts so no surprise that this one is handle better the voltage let's increase 30 let's check 42 volts yeah it's holding quite nice 12 volts let's use maximum voltage from my power supply 61 volts and we've got 12 volts so this one is like heavy duty of course it's working a little bit better than this small one and it will not heat up as fast like this tiny one but it's quite big so yeah here you got the answer if you would like to add some extra blinkers lights then those two are pretty decent but yeah this one is heavy duty quite big and heavy and this one is small but it will also do the job if you have any questions just leave it in comment section and back to you and try to help see you in next one bros as you can see this light is quite powerful and this tiny step down can easily handle it so i'm really surprised because i thought it will burn to be honest but it's working quite nice